Hello and welcome to Selenium WebDriver tutorial. In this tutorial, we will write our first test case or test script in Selenium WebDriver. So what we'll do is we'll basically get the first manual test case. So I have prepared a manual test case which has uh, some test steps and then we'll follow that test case and convert it into the automation script as you will be doing in your actual projects. So in your actual project projects, if you're joining as an automation tester, you will be mostly getting the test cases from any of the test management tool. So if there is a test management tool, for example, QTest or TestLink or HP uh, Quality Center, which is ALM, HP ALM, um, then you will all your test cases will be managed in these or stored in these test management softwares. You will go through these test cases and then follow these test cases, manual test cases and convert into automation script. So here for uh, the same sort of example, I have prepared this test case in the Excel uh, sheet and uh, many new organization or the startups still maintain the test cases into, into the Excel sheet, sheet in similar sort of format. So for example, in the test case, key sections are like you will have pre preconditions, um, then you will have the steps and then you have the post condition. Then you have, you know, like the test data that is required for, um, you know, to execute that particular test. So um, most of the time you will have these uh, test cases into the test management tool. But for the demo purpose, I have created this sample test case. So what I'm doing here is I'm just opening uh, a browser and opening the source demo website, providing the username and password. Okay and uh, there is a demo username and password that I'm using and clicking on the login, but login button and verifying that the login is getting, um, user is, getting, is uh, logged into the portal successfully and then closing the browser, okay? So this is very, very simple, you know, manual uh, test case. Uh, the core thing to understand here is how you will, you know, what is the process when you will get the test case to convert it into the automated test case in Selenium WebDriver. Now, in previous tutorial, we have all seen about the development environment setup. Then we have also seen how you can use Maven as a dependency management tool and created the Maven project and imported all the required dependencies for Selenium WebDriver. And we have also imported the dependency for managing our browser drivers. Okay, so in terms of um, development environment setup, we are all good to go and start automating this test case in Eclipse. Okay. So now here we will create our test cases into SRC test Java package. So I've already created a package below that, which is the UI. I'll create a new class, which is basically, uh, which will be our test case. So I'll be covering all these Java concepts in a separate Java tutorial. So don't worry about that. If you're new to Java, you can follow that tutorial series and then come back to Selenium WebDriver series. Okay. So uh, I'll provide the name of the test. So I'll just say login test and then I'll include the main class as well. Right. So, uh, so main method here um, that needs to be included. So we'll understand why the main method is required in this class, okay, in the Java tutorial. So click on finish and then you will see the main method has been um, automatically included. Now in this, we'll start writing our test case, okay. So this is uh, the name of the class. So login test is the name of the class. You can see the package is UI, which is uh, this package, right. And then this is the main method. So your Java execution or the, the program execution starts from the main method. Um, so that's why this main method is required in this particular test if you are trying to execute this test. So uh, now we'll start converting our you know manual test case into the automated test case. So the first step is basically the precondition. We need to open uh, this source demo website in the browser, okay? So what is the first step? So now the first step is basically to create or uh, to do the setup of the web driver or the Chrome driver, right? So because we have already uh, imported the dependency for the driver, the web drive or the browser driver. So we can simply say web driver manager dot Chrome driver. Okay. And 
then dot setup right so what this will do is this will set up the chrome driver for you in this particular for this particular script okay and the next step is to create the object of the chrome driver okay so we'll say chrome driver and then driver because we are trying to execute our test case in the chrome driver so we'll uh, you know create the object of the chrome driver and then we'll say um, new chrome driver we'll understand all these details why we are doing chrome driver driver and then uh, in later tutorials we'll we'll be doing web driver driver is equal to new chrome chrome driver so we'll understand all these concepts in the java tutorial series and then also side by side will when we are going through this selenium series i'll be covering brief concepts about that as well so uh, now you can see that it is giving error we need to import the chrome driver right so this um, package needs to be imported okay so org open qa uh, selenium chrome chrome driver needs to be imported so this library is required if we are trying to instantiate the object of the chrome driver okay now we can say driver dot the, the first step is to open the browser right so there is a method that we can invoke in the web driver so we can say driver dot get and then we can provide the url of the link that we want to open in the chrome browser okay so what is the url the url is source demo dot com okay so we'll simply um, copy this okay and paste it into the url here okay and then control shift f will format the code for you okay so we have done the prerequisite so we have basically uh, now written the code to open the browser and launch this particular url in the browser now the next step is to enter the username and password in the username and password field so when you do any test case manually the, what are the usual steps so basically you will open the browser right and then you launch this url and then you'll click on this username field you will enter the username then you will click on this password field you will enter the username and then you'll click on login right so similar user operations you need to simulate in your automation script if you miss any of that then your automation script is not going to understand what to do next and it will fail okay so now in order to interact with the browser or the web elements so basically this username password login all these uh, you know uh, elements that are available on this particular page are the web elements and in order to you you know interact with these web elements you need to find or your script selenium script need to find these web element in some way and there are there are then locator strategies that are available in selenium web driver which i'll cover in the upcoming tutorial so like id name xpath css selector uh, you would have heard about you know these locator strategies so in order to interact with this web element or enter some text we need to first inspect this and find out the basic uh, find out the web element how we need to identify or how your script is going to locate this particular web element and send the text here okay so if you see if on the firefox browser if you just right click and click on inspect element okay then it will highlight the element code into blue right this code is highlighted now there are the id so there is you can see you know uh, attributes of the element so id is one of that uh, then you have the class then you have type okay um, then you have the placeholder etc okay so you can simply just right click okay on that um, code and then go to copy and copy xpath that is also available in um, you know uh, your uh, firefox browser or you can simply you know you if you if you have the id available you just simply copy uh, the id that is there and your selenium script provides um, the functionality or selenium provides the functionality to identify the web element by id and name so what we'll do is we'll simply say driver 
dot there is a method find element okay so find element and then by and when you'll say dot then it will give you all the locator strategies so there are you can locate it by you know class name css sele css selector id link text name partial link text tag name xpath right so in this case i'll identify it by id okay and then provide the id the next thing is so now this driver will be able to find this particular web element now we have to send some text there so if you just put the dot there and start typing send and then just select send keys and provide the text that you want to send so what do we want to send there we want to send the username right so what is the username standard user okay we'll copy that and enter standard user into the send keys argument all right similarly next step we need to send the password in the password field and then we need to click on login button okay so let's inspect the password and the password id is the password so we'll use the id again here right and we'll simply copy the password we'll copy the whole line here and simply replace the id of the password field and we'll send the password which is secret sauce all right and paste secret sauce there okay now the next step is to identify the login button so simply right click inspect element on login button and you can simply copy the x path okay so just to make it quick i'll copy the x path but there are a lot of x path and css selector locator strategies which i have covered in other tutorial series which will be part of this um, uh, playlist as well you can watch those so simply just say driver dot find element same thing and we'll say this time we are identifying by x path right so we have copied x path and I'll provide the xpath expression, okay? And you can see it's pretty lengthy. This is not the best practice, but uh, to, you know, like just to show you, I'll simply copy that. And then we need to, so it identified the login button. Now we have to click on that button, right? So dot click, okay? And the last step is to close the browser, okay? So now, once we are logged in, um, then we need to close the browser. So we're not verifying anything as such. We'll simply say driver dot close. So this will close the current window. Okay. And we'll simply save this test case. So now if you see and compare with the manual test case here, right? So we have entered the username. So we have launched this uh, URL, okay, in the Chrome Chrome browser, okay. So we have set up the Chrome driver, um, and which will basically launch the Chrome browser, and then we have created the object of uh, you know Chrome driver, and then we are launching this particular URL, providing the username. We are sending the username in the username field. We are sending the password in the password field. And then we are clicking on the login button and then closing the browser. So we are then closing the browser, right? So now let's try to run this and see the results. So if I run this particular test case, it will launch the browser. And you can see that it created, it typed in username, password, logged in and closed the browser, right? So this is how simple it is to do the automation using Selenium driver or start learning basically uh, your Selenium web driver automation. Now there are a lot of advanced topics that we'll be covering uh, as you know we go further. But to start with, this is something how you will be you know like starting with to um, converting your test case into uh, from manual to automated test case. Um, in upcoming tutorial, we'll learn a lot more detail about uh, why we need to do something like, for example, here we are directly hard coding these, you know, values or uh, 
the data into our script so all these things we'll try to externalize and then we'll come with the frameworks that we'll be using to make uh, our you know code more maintainable readable and uh, when when there are multiple people working in in the team then to actually you know uh, manage the big piece of automation code um, effectively so that's where all the you know advanced frameworks and tools comes into picture so hope you like the tutorial this is our first test case in selenium web driver many more uh, tutorials coming soon thank you very much for watching